when these hey, are I see him. What's the sucker? Type nigga run around front. Yeah. Huh. Ain't with the click, but still be most one. Yeah. What's the sucker? Type started, but won't finish yeah. it. Act like a thug when he really wasn't in the uh-huh. shit. Suckers. Type that ain't getting no cheddar. Uh-huh. And can't afford Chris, so he say no better. Huh. So Shout out to allflamers.com. You know what I mean? Keep doing y'all thing. Supporting the movement all day long. Sure. Yo, shout out to DJ Circuit Breaker Commission TV, man. You know what it is. Let's get to the money, man. DJ Circuit Breaker Commission TV. I'm here with Philly Legend. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Man, if you don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's good with you? Hey, man. Uh, I got this single out right now called I'm Coming. It's going crazy all over the internet. Uh, crazy on you. Vlad TV picked it up. YouTube views is crazy. It's only been out a week. Uh, DJ Enough and the heavy hitters picked it up. Yo, chill out. You can get my son too. <laughs> a day off school. Playing with his iPod. But I'm working on his uh, volume. I'm bringing out four volumes called Don't Hate, Just Listen. The first Dad, joint is back at it like a cracker. You can't make me die. I got some. Uh, Crazy drinks, man. Give me All right, people featured on there. Now a lot of people want to know, probably first question. You know what I'm saying, where you been? You know what I mean, you've been off the scene for a while. Uh, I, uh, to be honest, I invest in my money wise. Like I got real estate. I got seven cribs. I rent rooms to the college students. Got a cleaning company. Major like a lot of people, like you know, in the city, you know, they never really dealt with major uh, labels, record companies. You know, they never took the steps and been to the level of the game where you've been. I just wanted you to, you know, break down, you know, what was the process of y'all getting your first major deal? Like, what what was the process y'all went through to get there? Uh, to be honest, like we always, me and Boo always rap. Like, you want always our, rap? We always, yo, be quiet, man. We had our uh, our first show at like 11, man. You know what I'm saying? Grew up in the same house. So we was always grinding. You know what I'm saying? Did the street thing and all that other shit. But what it takes is just being focused. And it kind of just happened. The same person Meek Mill's dealing with now is Charlie Mack. That's the same person that introduced us into the game. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Charlie Mack. And shout out to Meek Mill's doing his thing. But uh, friendships. Not thinking you better than anybody. And, and and if you see something that you like and you focused on it, just keep driving at it. And, and an opportunity, a window will open. And once that window open, you just got to take full advantage of it and know what you want out of the situation. And it'll happen. That's how it happened for us. I can't say it's like no, no certain strategic moves that you got to make. It's just that you got to stay focused and know what you want out of the game. And it'll happen eventually. Now, what was the energy like? You know what I mean? Because, you know, right now, you know, the energy around Meek Mills, he got a lot of energy, but, like, back then, the energy around the city was, like, a different type of energy. Uh, you know what's the biggest difference? And, and I'm going to say this, though, and he don't have to listen. I ain't nobody, but I think, for real, for real, a good move for Meek Mills right now, even though he got it proper, go grab Joey Jahad. Y'all was killing it. That's what made y'all pop. That was the thing about us that made us pop. Beans, South Philly. Uh, you had Gilly and them from up north. We are all going Power 99 and kill it. We'll be down Virginia rapping for Timberland. It was all of us spitting a verse of peace. That made Philly pop. Like, go grab the Joey Jahad, the, 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 the Reed Dollars and all y'all. That's what made it crack. Y'all gotta, that's what the ludicrous do with the Jeezys. They not smacking each other. T.I. and Jeezy had a joint together. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need that, that camaraderie, man. The Memphis niggas do it, the L.A. niggas do it. You got J-Rock doing joints with, uh... Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle, yeah, you feel what I'm saying? And he a blood and he a crit. This is my point, yeah. but this is what, this is... If, if Meek Mills got 20,000 fans, and Joey Jahad got 10 and they got 5,000 5, fans that like each other combined. Y'all need, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, now? Y'all, y'all that's 50,000 fans. All together, yeah. Feel what I'm saying? If, if you could buy two houses by yourself, but if we can get together and buy 10 together, what makes more sense? It's more of a movement. Dang, that's all it you takes though. That's what the industry is. That's why it's so hard for us in Philly to break into it. Yeah. It's real hard.
how would you compare the money from then to the money now in the music business as far as the deals and the, and the 360 deals and the uh um the money um, well it's always money to me it's just the hustle changed you feel what i'm saying then you was more focused on things back then you were focused more on uh getting a deal getting your advance money and and artists really ain't know about the front end or the back end. Now, you really don't need a major label, and it ain't that many uh, major labels left. So, if you can, if you're smart enough to to build your company and get the name that you want, and your LLC or your incorporator or your ENT, whatever you want to do it. The internet is crazy. Like, it's so much money. You got iTunes, Reverb Nation, PayPal all over the place. You can sell your shit over here, get things popping. So, the internet, I say, take your time, build your shit on the internet. You get 50, 60,000 fans, 99 cents to a dollar fifteen a download. Yeah, nice check. That's, that's a check. You know what I'm saying? So, to, 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 to try to push and get a major deal now is like kind of like asinine. It really don't matter because you got people on majors that's only selling. Uh, 75,000 copies, mm. 100,000 copies. Mm. Like you take for instance, uh, Ray J, Sexy Kenna. He, uh, no no deal, him and Young Bird. That joint sold 1.5 million. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rick Ross album did That's a half a, a million. A husky whole album. ass check. If this is my point. <laughs> so, I mean. to be trying to get a deal is like, we just gotta support each other. Yeah. I feel you on that. Okay. And a lot of people don't know, outside of uh, Nori, you know, y'all was one of the first, you know, hip-hop artists to work with, you know I mean, Pharrell and Neptunes. How did that come about? Uh, doing what the young niggas do now. Spitting. Ew. Uh, every, everybody that we came across, we would get in front of them and ha, ra, 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 ra. we is gunning them. He's like, yo, I got to work with y'all. Next thing you know, he like, man, come to Virginia. We was in Virginia, he was like, uh, we gonna do two songs. Two songs turned into an album. You know what I'm saying? And just built our friendship, so that's how that came about. That's How's how that was. relationship uh, to this day? Uh, Boo talked to, to Pharrell, I talked to Pusher from time to time, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, we never made no enemies. Like, being a player, man, you ain't never mad at nobody, like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You just gotta learn uh, oh, certain you. people make their money the way they make their money and you make yours the way you make yours. That's that's what and that's what we breed and feel the players. Now like a lot of artists they've been hot. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they've been hot in the streets, uh -huh. they've been hot on the mixtapes, but a lot of them haven't had hit records. Yeah. What does a hit record do to your life? Compared to just being hot, you know what I mean? Uh Put you on tour, cash money tour, being in every every city and state in the United States, out the country, it do a lot for you, man. It, it, and, and if you take the opportunities and do the right things, like to be honest, the reason why I got into real estate and I'm successful at real estate and buying houses and fixing them because of the music. You feel what I'm saying? People knew me from Philly's Most Wanted, so they was willing to give me the opportunity to say, yo, I know your cash legit, I know you did certain things, huh, this is what you do with it, this is how you invest in it, this is how you make more money over here. So it's so many opportunities, not just in entertainment. You can, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what making hits and radio songs, that's what that come about. You open up a lot of different avenues, not just clothing lines and all the typical things that people do. It's a lot of ways to make a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? And speaking of hit records, like royalties and, and publishing, what's the biggest check you ever got from publishing or royalties in your career? Uh, like, I got, we got like a bean and some change. You know what I'm saying? Then it, it all depends on, uh, you get a lot of checks, man. You get a lot of pub checks. You can get some paper, man. It's all about what you're doing with it. Mm -hmm. 
What's the most start tripping? Uh -huh. Who start tripping? Yeah. Tell her my name, boo. You know we all hit him. But look, my man, I got three drinks in me stuck. And I ain't trying to talk. I'm trying to fuck. If your pussy gets wet up, uh -huh. chicks, I never sweat up. Uh -huh. I'm getting all the cheddar. Yeah. Bitch, read the letter.